Hello, Foot of Ten Church family. It is so good to have a conversation with you. And we're living in such crazy days, and so we wanted to get some information out to you. And you know, even though we are in uncharted waters, as far as those of us that are in my lifetime, I've never dealt with this. But the cool thing is, even though we are in what we could call stormy conditions, we know the God that is the God of the storm. And you know sometimes he calms the storm, and sometimes he cal calms the sailor in the storm. So, however God does this, we need to be praying that this COVID-19 is, as, that God just does away with it as quickly as possible, and that he gets the glory through it. But if he chooses to let it run a course that's longer, that he still gets the glory through it because of his sailors in the storm. So, as the Lord has called us to be lighthouses, let's not panic, let's not be ridiculous in this, let's not be unkind to other people. In this storm that our world has not seen, at least the world of the people that are alive today have not seen anything like this, let's be true reflectors of Jesus Christ during this time, this pandemic that's going on in our world today. Now, as far as our church is concerned, I want to encourage you with a few things. First of all, on Wednesday night, we will be doing an online Facebook live, or online Facebook live service. Wednesday and Sunday, they are going to be online services only. Please stay home. The governor has talked to us. The president has mentioned. Um, now, these are not mandates, but they are recommendations that we not gather in groups of more than 10. Now, when we read Romans chapter 13, the Bible talks to us about respecting the, the authorities that be, that the authorities that be are ordained of God. So we want to follow their recommendations and do our part in trying to stop the spread of this COVID-19. So our services will be online only. Now, we will be asking some of our church staff and deacons to come and help us with the service, to run the technical aspects of it for the singing, because we want it to be an enjoyable service. And you know what? We need fellowship. And so fellowship online, and I haven't done a whole lot of the online things, but I understand and I know that comments can be made. So when you log into Facebook Live or YouTube Live, now on our Facebook page there will be a link to go to YouTube and that way those who don't have Facebook Live or Facebook can still join in the service. Put a comment there that you've, that you've joined in. Tell everybody hello and let's join together as, as an online community, as an online church and, and fellowship with one another because fellowship is important. Then another aspect to the fellowship is take some time and call one another. We, we really are discouraged from getting together physically, but call someone. Call and encourage another person. Maybe do a video chat, anything like that. And that, that also fulfills the purpose of the church of us fellowshipping, encouraging one another. And so we just have to do it in unique ways during this unique time in our, in our history right now. Now, the other thing is, let me ask you this. Things still need to move forward with the church. We still have bills to pay, and you know me, I don't like to talk about money, but we would still encourage you to give. You can give through our website and give online. There is a giving tab um, in there. You can also mail it in. Um, our staff is still going to be getting paid, and so we would encourage you to continue giving to the Lord and giving to the church here so that we can meet our financial obligations. Now, if you have any questions, we are going to ha have someone at the church most days to answer phone calls. So if you need to call, go ahead and do that. But most of all, let's pray and ask God to do amazing things during this time, that he would shorten this pandemic, that he would protect those, especially those vulnerable to this uh, virus. And then let's encourage one another during this time as we just see what God will do with this because he is still on the throne. Thank you so much for the time. We love you guys and we look forward to the time that we can be back together 
in our building, seeing one another, shaking hands, and just having a good time of fellowship together. We'll talk to you later. Bye.